Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about 2021 Kenyon Ultimate CF SL8 Disc Di2 road bike. As you already see, it's a classical mouthful of bike names for this uh, Kenyon Ultimate uh, road bike. But before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon because it's gonna help in growing the channel. And of course, if you are already a subscriber, then thank you. So let's talk about this 2021 Kenyon uh, Ultimate CFSL8 Disc Di2. First thing first, uh, let's explain uh, who is this bike for. So you see, uh, Kenyon's Ultimate range is all about the lightest, stiffest climbing machines. So if you spend most of your days riding in the mountains, you like climbing steep mountains, everything let's say above approximately 7 to 8% gradient, then definitely you should consider Kenyon Ultimate range of the bikes. When you look at the retail price of this bike, it's 3,450 British pounds, which is approximately 4,600 US dollars with the current exchange rate. So absolutely, this is not a cheap bike. Um, it is a you know high price. And also keep in mind that since Kenyon is a direct to consumer brand, you order everything online, it gets shipped to your home you basically can't negotiate the price of this bike. So this 3,450 British pounds, or as I said, approximately 4,600 US dollars is what it is. And unless Kenyon offers certain discounts, which they do a few times per year, you can't expect any special discount on this uh, bike. When you look at the paint scheme of the bike, you will have luckily two paint scheme choices. One is this pretty classic stealth, black on black, totally blacked out bike. Uh, definitely not my cup of tea, definitely not my choice. I would uh, go with this light blue, kind of metallic blue with a hint of black. It's just a beautiful paint scheme and it really looks nice. But again, good thing is that Kenyon at least offers you two paint schemes on this three and a half thousand British pounds uh, bike so that's always a good good thing now let's dive in and let's check some of the components that Kenyon offers for your hard earned money i will also mention here <clears throat> that Kenyon claims that the total bike weight is 7.6 kilograms i believe this is the weight for the medium size frame and uh, i would suggest that uh, probably majority of the sales will be large bikes so let's add another 200 grams on top of it so i would call it 7.8 kilograms out of the box for the size large i believe this is brilliant in my book everything that's below 8 kilograms is brilliant so this approximately 7.8 kilos perfectly fine uh, and really good work from uh, kenya so as i was saying let's kick off with the frame and the fork so this is kenyon's carbon fiber uh, CFSL uh, frame and also Kenyon's CFSL carbon fiber uh, fork. You see this uh, S CFSL range is not top of the line creme de la creme that Kenyon can do. They have two more levels above it. So there's an SLX range and there is their uh, Kenyon factory racing CFR range. But these uh, frames and forks get really expensive really quickly, so I just wouldn't bother with that. This CFSL carbon fiber frame and fork are perfectly fine, no complaints here. This is, you know, both frame and fork ready for the 12 mm true axles front and back, internal cable routing, flat mount disc brakes, superb uh, frame and the fork. And also keep in mind that Kenyon offers you six years uh, guarantee on this uh, frame and the fork. This is a little detail where I think Kenyon should strive in the future to offer a lifetime warranty or at least increase this to something like 10 years warranty so they kind of stand out a bit from the other competition because everybody does like 5-6 years warranties on the frames and the forks and then you only have few manufacturers which offer you a lifetime warranty. So Kenyon should strive in my opinion in the future to 
offer a lifetime warranty. When we look at the drivetrain of the bike, it's absolutely superb. Uh, you will get a full Shimano Ultegra electronic group set. So Shimano Ultegra DI2 11 speed group set, um, Shimano's R8050 group set. So everything from the rear mech which is the Shimano Zultegra DI2 rear mech and just to keep in mind that this is the short cage rear mech so this rear mech will accept a maximum cassette size of 30 tooth so just keep that in mind front um, mech is also Shimano Zultegra DI2 and the shifter is Shimano Zultegra DI2 absolutely superb electronic group set no cutting corners here no complaints here in my opinion if you think about the value for money when it comes to these electronic group sets Shimano Zultegra DI2 is the one you basically want. Cassette on the bike is Shimano Zultegra R8000, as I was saying, 1130 cassette, superb choice, no cutting corners. Uh, crank set, again, Shimano Zultegra R8000, 5236. So, for example, if this combination of 5236 crank set and 1130 cassette is not enough for you, when you attack your steep steep mountains and you want to switch to 1132 cassette 1134 cassette even you will have to change your rear mech just keep that in mind press fit bottom bracket on the bike bb72 or it's basically bb86 road standard i'm not expecting any creaking noises from this because canyon produces quality carbon fiber frames i don't see here the specifications for the chain on this bike i truly hope it's a shimano ultegra level chain i hope they didn't cut corners here and dropped in you know secretly shimano 105 level chain but that's something you can check directly with canyon is it a shimano ultegra level chain on the bike and also i'm noticing now that <clears throat> canyon gives a lot of uh, gives the data for the weight of the components so for example a rear mech 240 grams front mech 130 grams cassette 269 grams and so on this is a very nice addition and i really like that they did it although when you look at the at the frame and the fork they didn't give the weight of the frame and the fork they could have given it in for example size large just so you have a feeling when it comes to the braking performance on the bike another superb choice uh, Shimano Zultegra hydraulic disc brakes. No complaints here, superb stopping power. Uh, they also are paired with the Shimano's RT800 braking rotors, Ultegra level braking rotors, 160 millimeters front and back, as I can see from the Canyon's images. And these are braking rotors with the ice, ice Frieza technology. I mean, superb braking rotors from Shimano, absolutely no cutting corners. Wheel set on this bike is a decent choice in my opinion. So here we are speaking about the DT Swiss P1800 spline wheel set. When I quickly nip to the DT Swiss website to check this wheel set, here are some uh, highlights of the wheel set. So the rear wheel is 901 grams and the front wheel is 766 grams. So this is 1667 grams in total. This is a <coughs> aluminium uh, wheel set, a clincher type with the rim height of 23 millimeters uh, front and the back and the inner rim width of 18 millimeters. So this is a bit um, narrow inner. Uh, rim width but it is what it is it's a very simple aluminium wheel set hubs are again superb choice dt swiss 370 hubs uh, no cutting corners here 12 millimeter true axles both front and the back and this is a three pole uh, free hub system from dt swiss should be superb also the spokes are dt swiss arrow spokes and the nipples also dt, DT swiss uh, pro lock uh, nipples all in all uh, superb aluminium wheel set uh, you can easily turn it into a tubeless wheel set if you want. I don't think Canyon will ship it with the tubeless wolves and the tape. This is, I'm thinking, something you will have to buy on your own. But again, for an aluminium wheel set out of the box, approximately 1,700 grams, uh, superb choice. This is maybe something in the future. If you really want to, you know, upgrade your wheel set, you can think about some other products from DT Swiss maybe even some of their carbon fiber offerings these wheels are wrapped in continental gp 5000 tires 25 millimeters wide tire superb choice of the tires um, if in the future let's say you destroy these tires you want to change to some other tires 
I would maybe consider just switching to the 28mm tires, any manufacturer that you want, all of them do a good tire now these days, and just because the 28mm tire will give you a bit more air volume and a bit more comfortable ride, that's it. When it comes to some other smaller pieces of the cockpit, here you will have a carbon fiber Canyon's um, Aero cockpit, CP10 Aero cockpit, carbon fiber as I said, but this is a one piece, uh, one piece affair. <laughs> so the handlebars and the stem are one piece and um, personally I'm not a big fan of it. And especially on this ultimate level of bike, which would be, you know, a climbing machine, I wouldn't bother so much with this Aero cockpit, but it is what it is and I truly hope it's gonna fit you this one piece uh, handlebar stem uh, combo. Handlebar tape is Kenyon's own Ergo Speed uh, gel production, so nothing special to add here. Saddle on the bike and the seat post, so seat post is a carbon fiber Kenyon seat post, their famous VCLS carbon fiber seat post with 15 to 35 mil setback, all superb, superb choice, I just love this carbon fiber seat post for the more comfortable bike ride. And the saddle, again, superb choice, Sella Italia SLR Boost, no complaints here. Sella Italia produces superb saddles, uh, and uh, you will probably like this saddle, but if you don't, uh, it's easy to swap and to keep your preferred uh, saddle. So I think this is gonna be it for today. In a summary, if you are in the market for a good uh, climbing lightweight stiff bike, then definitely check uh, this uh, Canyon Ultimate CFSL8 disc DI2 uh, road bike. So as I said, I think this is going to be it for today. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're always notified when I make a new video. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Pura vida!